Hello, this is a tutorial on how to assemble the X-Cube. If you've taken the X-Cube apart or 3D printed it, you're going to end up with a bunch of pieces uh, just like this, and it's our job to put it back. This is the core. All of these pieces are going to be assembled around this core. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just sort out these pieces so that we can arrange them in here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find these corner pieces. The corner pieces look like this and they have uh, either a white or yellow sticker on them, one single sticker. We're going to place the sticker face down, we're going to put the white pieces on the right, and the yellow corner pieces, the one with the yellow corner pieces, face down with the sticker on the left side. So I'm just going to hunt through these. There are eight of these, and all I have to do is place them down, keep them organized, and one more right here okay so now i've got those pieces all picked out and sorted through now i'm going to find the edge pieces with a sticker on them the that is these pieces and they either have a single white or yellow sticker on them so i'm going to place the white ones on the right and continue like this let's see And one more right there. Okay. And then the last thing I got to do is I got to find these pieces. Not the last thing. We got a little more to go. These pieces, they have no sticker on them. There are four of these. And I'm going to put them right, right here in the middle. Okay. Now it's our job to sort through these. There are two types of pieces left. These corner pieces and these edge pieces. We're going to pick them up, uh, see what their colors are, and place them. They fit inside these pieces over here. So let's start with the corner pieces. Here I've got a orange, red, and white piece. Um, because it has a white sticker, I know it has, and it's a corner piece, it has to match up with one of the white uh, corner pieces down there with a single sticker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to you know hook it in so that the white piece, so that the whites line up, and I just uh, hook it into the corner piece. That's how it fits in. And I'm going to keep that face down. I'm not going to pick them up anymore. Uh, what I can do is I can just look around. Okay, so now I've got this white, red, and blue piece. And unlike my white, red, and green, so I'm going to pick another corner. Uh, just put it in so that the white also faces down. Now, here's this one. Okay, now here's where, here's where it gets interesting. Each of these corner pieces holds two corner like top corner pieces that have the same color but they've got a different color on the outside so you just want to you want to match it up with the you want to make sure that the pairs of corner pieces that have the same colors are matched up on the same corner piece so if I just keep going through like this okay now we have a yellow one so I know the yellow has to go down I can just pick any one of these to put this on and then here we have another a, a yellow orange blue and then make sure yellow faces down. And here we have a white, orange, blue. Now, like I said, nope, that's not one that I have yet. So I just need to start a new corner. And then, so we have white, orange, green. I do not have that one yet either. So, and then white, blue, red. I have that color. So I'm just going to match it up with this one. Now I've got a completed corner. And, okay, continue like this. Okay, another continued, another completed corner. My two white, orange, greens. And then, yellow, orange, white, nope. And then okay, just found my last no, second to last corner piece. Then here we go. Make sure that the L is facing down.
made of our green. Okay, that finishes up for the white corner pieces. And we just have a few yellow ones left to go. Okay, here's the yellow, green, orange. So I know that goes with the other yellow, green, orange, but yellow has to face down. And then the last corner piece goes right there. Now I have as edge pieces left. Uh, I'm going to pick up the edge piece. If it has a white sticker, I'm just going to put it with... If it has a white sticker on it, I'm going to put it with the other edge pieces that also have a white sticker on them. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to slot it in just like, just like this. See? And if it has a yellow sticker on it, I'm going to put it in one of the yellow, yellow edge pieces. See? Match them up and keep them face down. If it has neither color, neither a white nor a yellow, it belongs in one of these pieces. One of these pieces that I set out earlier. So I'll just hook it in to this one. Okay, and these have pairs. So here's the other, other orange and green piece. And we need to just make sure that those are matched up so that the two colors are on the same one. And there are four of those. So here's another one. I can just set this one in. And here's one without a white or yellow, so I'll set that one in. Then another one. Here's the other orange and green. And then here's an orange and white. I can place that face down in there. Here's the blue and white. I can face that down on the white ones. Here's the red and blue. So that one has neither a white nor a yellow sticker, so I'll put that down there. Here's the other red and blue. Then here's the green and yellow. I can put that face down in the yeah in a yellow one. And then the final red and green and red that is neither a white or yellow. And then the last two, the last stickers go here. Okay, now we have all the pieces sorted and arranged and grouped together. Now what we need to do is. Uh, start assembling them around the cube. So let's start with the yellow pieces. We're going to fill the bottom layer and then move up. So let's start by building a cross on the bottom. Let's assemble the these pieces. Let's put them in like this. Let's get all the edge pieces put in. This is how you do that. Set that down. And I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just setting these in so I can fill the bottom edge pieces on the bottom layer. Okay, good. So now I have this, and I made sure all my colors matched up to the center pieces on the core. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the corners on the bottom. I'm going to grab the yellow corners and make sure that I put them in with the colors, you know, with respect to the colors. So I see an orange and green, so I'm going to put those between the orange and green cores. The yellow-green goes between the yellow-green like centers. And then the last set of corners for the bottom. So I've got an entire completed bottom layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in most of this middle layer with, uh, with these pieces. So I'm just going to start placing these in. It's very simple. They just fit in. And I'm going to leave one of them out. So now I've got two layers made, almost. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building the top layer. I'm going to start with an edge. Okay, I've got a green edge. Okay, now I'm going to fill in the color that's supposed to go next to it. The, uh, just make sure that green is touching it. Green, a, gr a green piece goes next to that green edge, the green corner. And then I'm going to fill in another edge there, the orange edge, so I specifically want that one. And there we go. Now put in this orange piece, right? And put in the blue edge piece that goes next to it. I can just slide it in. Okay, almost done. Now I'm going to twist the cube like this. I'm going to put in my final middle layer piece now so that I only have this these three pieces left over here to put in. I'm going to put in the two corners okay there's one 
doing is I'm just holding them together so I can fit them in. There's two. Now the edge piece that go the edge piece goes in last. You got to put them in together. Keep the top layer rotated 45 degrees. You're going to fit it in like this. You're gonna you're gonna wedge this piece under the cap in the center on the top, under the top center piece. You're gonna wedge it in there, sort of like not not like too hard, but you know just get it get it clicked in there. And then you're gonna push you're gonna push in and down. Very simple. And then your X cube is back together. Uh, if you want to take it apart, it's the same deal. You just have to you have to just do it in reverse pretty much. You're gonna just turn the top layer. 45, get your finger in there, and it just pops out like that. Now, some of them might be stiffer than another than others. I don't really recommend taking apart your X cube, but you know it's not too bad to take it apart and put it back together. All right, that is it. That is how you do it.